Uh, it's not that complicated uh, once you know what you're doing. So, um, so this question says the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of a planet is six times as large as it is on the surface of the Earth. Okay, let me um, label that as G prime. I'm going to use prime to indicate the quantities that relate to this uh, mysterious planet. G prime is equal to 6G. Okay. And it also says the mass density of the planet. Ooh. So density is something that we haven't covered properly. Um, we use the letter rho, Greek letter rho. Uh, this is the letter rho. Uh, can't spell. Um, this is the Greek letter rho. Um, and what density means is it's uh, mass per volume. So for a spherical object, if you assume it's a uniform sphere, it would be something like uh, mass time mass divided by the the volume of a sphere, which is uh, four thirds pi r cubed. Now what you will see is that these numerical factors don't end up mattering. What will end up mattering is this that the volume goes as radius cubed. That's uh, really what matters, and uh, you will see in the problem sol solving steps that any numerical factor that's in front will just uh, cancel out. So, so with the no quick introduction to density, what it's saying, mass density of the planet is known to be uh, this time. So the mass density of the planet, rho prime, is equal to 2.25 times the density of Earth. Okay, it's asking what is the radius of the planet in terms of the Earth's radius. Okay, um, let's just start out with uh, what we know. Uh, we know Newton's law of universal gravitation, which must relate this to somehow. Newton's law of universal gravitation says that the g times the product of masses, so uh, mass of the planet times the mass of an object uh, divided by the the distance squared, that's the force of gravitation. A quick reminder of the property of gravity is that when you are outside a spherically uniform body, like a planet, you are outside it here, then the kind of the gravitational force you feel, it's the same exact force that you would feel if all this mass was concentrated at the center. That's uh, something that's uh, can be demonstrated with the math. It's exactly um, it's an exact math for a spherically symmetric object. So, um, so all of that to say the distance here that matters is the distance from the center of the planet or the radius. So, um, so we might as well say okay, it's g m m divided by r squared. Now, the question doesn't tell us any gravitational force. It doesn't tell us any, um, it doesn't tell us any mass of the person. What it does tell us is this gravitational acceleration. So we have to do a little bit of more work to get to expression that will be immediately useful. So we have to look at the other way we express gravity, the way we are used to before Newton's law of universal gravitation. We say that, oh, gravitational force is the mass of the person times gravitational acceleration. So you compare these two expressions and realize, oh, this is really the portion that relates to gravitational acceleration. So with that information in mind, I think I can actually write this out in terms of, um, uh, I can rewrite this in a way that I think might help us uh, answer this question. So this uh, g prime is equal to 6g. I can write this as, okay, g prime. So I'm going to write the gravitational acceleration in terms of the quantities that relate to the planet. That would be the gravitational constant. That's the same for all the planet times mass of the planet. Um, I don't think I have that, but let's keep going. <laughs> Divided by radius of the planet squared. Okay, I want that, so that's good. And we want to say this is equal to six times the gravitational constant times the mass of Earth divided by radius of Earth squared. Okay, we are running into a little bit of a problem here in that 
the information we are given is in terms of the the density, not mass directly. So uh, we have to think through and we have to rewrite mass in terms of density. And um, so we would uh, go back here, solve this for mass. So solving that for mass, we have mass of any planet is the its volume for thirds pi r squared uh, to the third power times the density. So I can imagine plug that, then uh, plugging that in. Then what we get is uh, g times um, the density of the wait wait it's all of this. So four thirds pi r prime to the third power times rho prime. That's the mass of the planet divided by r prime squared is equal to 6 times g times 4 thirds pi r to the third power times density of earth divided by radius of the earth squared. Okay, I think this is a good place to cancel out a bunch of things um, because there are so many common factors here. g is common. I can just cancel them out. And that's six. I'll just leave that alone. <laughs> uh, four thirds pi. That's the same. Yeah, that's what I was referring to. That this will cancel out. And uh, oh, and I have r prime squared cancel out two factors of that. R squared cancel out two factors of that. So this is what we end up with. We have this expression. R prime rho prime is equal to r times rho. Very simple. Um, so this is the place where we put in this uh, information. I can replace rho prime with um, 2.25 rho. So r prime times 2.25 rho is equal to r times rho. Rho's cancel out because we are expressing things in terms of the uh, earth quantities. And I can solve for this radius of the planet. And I get radius of the planet is equal to 1 over 2.25 times the uh, radius of Earth. I just moved it over. So yeah, that should be the answer. Let's put that in. Uh, 1 over 2.1 over 2.25. That's 0 0.444. Um, and that rate. Maybe one more four. Don't know. Did I make a mistake? Let me just double check. Uh, let's see here. Third power. Oh, <laughs> I forgot this six here. I had this six, so it should be six divided by <laughs> two point two five. Okay, six divided by two point two five because there was this six here that I should have carried over here and carried over here. Okay, that's embarrassing. 6 divided by 2.25, 2.67. Uh, okay. So yeah, it's, uh, um, yeah, uh, I, I don't know if there's a intuition you can draw out of this. Uh, you can also do this question using something called the scaling argument that, can help you reach the answer here quicker, but I thought there was a, too much going on here to use a scaling argument.